Hey gang, using the promo code MTGMUDSTA, all caps, will get you 10% off any order over $10 at Flipside Gaming. It'll also get you 10% off any orders of singles at Multizone. And it'll get you 10% off most products at Original Magic Art, with the exceptions of some paintings. If these fine sites don't have what you're looking for, you can also consider using my affiliate link when ordering from TCG Player. And if you'd like to join the Generic Goblin Gang to support this channel, there's a link to my Patreon in the description below. Hey gang and welcome back. Today's game is another multi-zone matchup with a brand new player, Justin, bringing his Feldegrift deck. He keeps a Temple Garden, an Island, Sigarda's Aid, Phyrexian Metamorph, Rewind, and a Murkfiend Liege. Max is playing Olivia, and he keeps a Languish, Soul Ring, two Swamps, Smoldering Marsh, Urborg Volcano, and Swiftfoot Boots. Jameson is playing Kozilek the Great Distortion, and he keeps Emrakul the Promised End, Scour from Existence, Conduit of Ruin, Basalt Monolith, Wastes, Sanctum of Ugin, and Urza's Tower. Dom is rocking his Surak deck, keeping Progenitor Mimic, Sky Shroud Claim, Cultivate, Somberwall Sage, Genesis Hydra, Wooded Foothills, and a Mountain. Max wins the die roll and starts us off. Max plays a tapped Urborg Volcano. Jameson plays an Urza's Tower and passes. Dom plays a Wooded Foothills. Justin plays a Temple Garden tapped, passing. Max plays a Swamp and pays two for Swiftfoot Boots. Jameson plays a Shrine of the Forsaken Gods and passes with Dom sacrificing his fetch at the end of turn. Dom plays a Mountain and passes. Justin plays an Island and taps a White for Sigarda's aid. Max plays a Swamp and then casts a Mindstone. Jameson draws and plays a Sanctum of Eternity. He then taps 3 for Basalt Monolith, passing turn. Dom plays a Forest and casts Cultivate. He goes to find a basic for the field and one for his hand, passing. Justin unfortunately draws and has to pass. Max plays a Smoldering Marsh for turn, which comes in untapped, and casts a Soul Ring. He taps 4 mana for Olivia and gives her the Swiftfoot Boots when she resolves. Moving to combat, Max hits Dom with his commander before passing turn. In his main phase, Jameson plays Sanctum of Eternity, and then casts Warden of Geometries before passing to Dom. Dom plays a Mountain, and casts Sky Shroud Claim. He shortcuts first to put the stack Aristic Study, and responding to this, Justin flashes out Conqueror's Flail. Dom then goes into his library to find a Forest and a Cinder Glade, passing turn. Justin draws, and sadly passes. Max plays an Arch of Araska for turn, and then pings Jameson's Warden with Livia. This gives her a plus one plus one counter, and turns the Warden into a Vampire. He then taps enough to steal it away from Jameson with Olivia's second ability. Moving to combat, Olivia hits Dom again, and Max then passes. Jameson untaps and draws. He plays a Wastes and then pays 5 for a Hedron Archive, paying the 1 for the Steady Tax before passing to Dom. Dom draws for turn and casts a big boy Genesis Hydra where X is 5. He picks Sarkin's Unsealing from the cards he revealed and puts it to field, and the Hydra then enters, and Dom passes. Justin draws and plays an island, passing. Max counts up his mana and realizes he has City's Blessing. Moving to combat, he sends the Warden to Jameson, and Dom meets another 4 from Olivia. Max then passes turn. Jameson draws for turn and taps 7 for a main phase scour from existence. He exiles Max's boots, and Dom draws a card from the study trigger. Jameson then passes turn. Dom draws for turn and immediately goes at Max with his Hydra. Max blocks with the Warden, which dies and goes to Jameson's graveyard. Dom then taps 7 in his second main phase for a Gruel Rage Beast. He gets a Sarkin's Unsealing trigger, targeting Olivia, and Max responds once he gains priority. He pings the Genesis Hydra, making it into a vampire, and giving Olivia another plus one plus one counter. The ceiling then does 4, and the Rage Beast finally enters, 
and Dom has it fight Olivia, which will deal a further six. Max responds to this as well, pinging the Rage Beast with Olivia, and giving her another plus one plus one counter. He'll still lose his commander, but when the fight trigger resolves at least, she'll take out the Rage Beast at the same time. Justin plays an Evolving Wilds, and taps 3 mana and pays 2 life for Phyrexian Metamorph to come in as a copy of the Hedron Archive. Dom draws from this, and Justin then passes as he cracks the Wilds to find a basic. Max untaps and asks for cards in Dom's hand. He plays a Swamp in his main phase, and passes. Jameson draws, and plays Ugin the Ineffable, not paying the study cost. Dom draws, and Jameson then upticks his Planeswalker, exiling his top card to make a Spirit Token. He uses the card itself to represent the token, since it's easiest to remember what gets exiled when, and he's then able to cast the reduced costing Staff of Nin. This has Dom draw another card, and Jameson passes. Dom plays an island for turn, and goes to combat. He swings the Hydra at Max, who takes the hit for 5. Dom then casts an Acidic Slime, which as it enters, blows up the Basalt Monolith. He then casts a Wood Elves, and goes to find a Forest card, passing. Justin plays a Forest, and is starting to get back into the game. He taps enough to cast his commander, Feldegriff, and he doesn't pay the extra 1. This has Dom drawing a card, and Justin then puts the Flail onto his commander, passing turn. At the end of turn, Max activates his Arch of Araska to draw a card. Max untaps and draws for turn. He casts a Solemn Simulacrum in his main phase, and denies Dom drawing the card from casting it by paying the 1, and then goes to find a basic as it enters. He passes, shuffling, saying he'll play a Gracto's Guildgate once he's done. At the end of turn, Jameson uses his staff to ping the Wood Elves to death. Jameson draws 2, and plays an Inventor's Fair for his land for turn. He uptakes Ugin again, making another token, and he casts the reduced costing Conduit of Ruin. Dom gets to draw from Jameson not paying for the study, and Jameson then goes to find a colorless creature that costs 7 or more. He reveals a mere battle sphere, and puts it on top of his library. Jameson then plays out an Oblivion Sower, and Dom draws. They then resolve the Eldrazi's on cast trigger, and Jameson exiles Max's top 4 cards. He gets to put any number of lands exiled into play, which in this case is 1. Dom draws, and plays a Rhythm of the Wilds in his main phase. He then taps enough for Salvala Stampede. With Justin and Max picking Wild, and Jameson and Dom picking Free. The first hit from the library is a Sakura Tribe Elder, followed by a Clever Impersonator. Dom has the Impersonator come in as a copy of the Oblivion Sower, despite not getting the on-cast trigger. He gives both creatures haste with the Riot trigger from the Rhythm of the Wild. Dom then puts Ilharg from hand into play, followed by Goreclaw, giving them both haste as well. Moving to combat, Dom swings Ilharg and the Sower at Justin, with Goreclaw and the Hydra going at max. He gets an Ilharg trigger, putting on Balefire Dragon, which he has headed Jameson. The creatures other than the dragon are also pumped by Goreclaw, and Justin blocks with Feldegrift, taking 7, while Max blocks with Solemn to prevent 2 and takes 9 total. With a Solemn dying, he draws a card. Jameson can't block and takes the full 6, which has the Balefire dealing 6 to his board. Jameson does get to put to hand 2 cards exiled with the tokens as they die, and moving to his end step, the Balefire then goes back to Dom's hand, and he passes turn. Justin untaps and plays another Plains. He plays out a Behemoth Sledge, paying the 1 extra for the study, and it comes in and gets equipped onto his commander thanks to Sigarda's aid. He then passes, and at the end of turn, Max sacrifices his Mind Stone to draw a card. Max plays a Swamp for turn, and after knowing what's in his yard, casts the reduced casting cost Emrakul to Promised End. He decides to take Dom's next turn with the on cast trigger. Max then passes, and at the end of turn, Jameson tries to take out the Elder, and Dom sacrifices it in response to find a basic. Jameson draws his cards, and plays an Eldrazi Temple. He down takes Ugin to blow up the Rhythm of the Wild, and then taps some mana. He casts his own copy of Emrakul the Promised End, and this game is quickly spiraling into madness. 
he decides to take Max's next turn with the on-cast trigger, and also sacrifices the Sanctum of Ugin to go and find a colorless creature card to put to hand. Once he's finished searching, he reveals a metal worker and passes to Dom. Dom untaps and gives Max control of his turn. Max has Dom cast Aggravated Assault, which Justin is very quick to counter with a rewind. He doesn't pay the one, which has Dom slash Max draw a card. Max then has Dom play Polluted Delta, cracking it to go and find a shock land, and taking a total of three so it'll come in untapped. He goes to combat, swinging Ilharg at himself, and he puts out a Regal Behemoth, becoming the Monarch, and swinging at Jameson. Gorklaw goes at Justin, and the Slime goes at Ugin, while the clever impersonator copy of Oblivion Sower goes at Jameson. Everyone blocks what they can, which has Justin gaining nine life, and Jameson taking six while Ugin takes two while most of Dom's board unfortunately gets killed. In his second main phase, Max has Dom cast Progenitor Mimic as a copy of Feldegrift. Once the Hippo's on the board, Max has Dom pay one blue to activate the Hippo's ability to bounce it back to hand and has Max draw a card. Max then casts Dom's copy of Decimate, targeting the Shrine, the Unsealing, the Staff, and the Regal Behemoth. He then passes to Dom. Dom draws for turn and plays a Bloodstained Mire. He casts Anger and taps enough for an Inferno Titan. The Giant comes in, dealing 2 to Anger and 1 to Jameson. Dom then goes to combat and is able to swing the Slime and Ugin for 2. Jameson blocks with the Sower to keep the Walker around. Dom then cracks the Mire losing 1 to go and find a land, and he then draws at the end of turn from being the Monarch. Justin plays a Merc Fiend Liege in his main phase, and my goodness is that Feldegrift getting beefy. He shows Dom just how beefy by smacking him for 11 and gaining 11 life. Justin then passes, and gets to untap his creatures with Max. Max untaps and passes his hand over to Jameson as he starts his turn. Jameson plays a City of Brass for Max's land for turn, and heads to combat, and hits Dom with Emrakul, which is enough to take him out. Jameson then casts Obnixilus Reignited in Max's post-combat main phase, and down ticks the walker to blow up Max's very own Emrakul. We then see Jameson casting Max's Price of Fame, and targets Feldegrift, but Justin bounces his commander back to hand once he gains priority. The spell then fizzles, and once that's done, Jameson casts Earthquake, dealing 4 to each creature and each player. Jameson passes to Max, who starts his extra turn. Max draws her turn, and plays a Mountain. He taps enough to bring back out Olivia, and just passes to Jameson. Jameson plays an Urza's Mind for turn, and upticks Ugin. He makes his token after exiling a card, and then pays enough for a Staff of Domination, followed closely by the earlier revealed Metal Worker. Jameson then carefully taps his mana, and has Xaxes for Skozalik, drawing until he has 7 cards in hand. He then goes to combat, but before letting him swing anything, Max is ready with Olivia to ping Emrakul and turn her into a vampire, and then pays enough to steal her away. This also has Olivia gaining a plus one plus one counter. Jameson then passes, and at the end of turn, Justin casts Swords to Plowshares on Kozilek. Jameson can't counter it, and unfortunately gains 12 as he puts his commander back to the command zone. Justin plays a command tower for turn, and recasts his commander. He then re-equips a flail onto it, and passes to Max. Max untaps and draws, reminding Justin to draw from his end of turn trigger because he's the Monarch. Max then uses Museum Mortars, which is removal I was a big fan of during my standard days, to take out the Metal Worker. We then see Gandhi hitting the field, and he exiles one of Justin's top four cards with a giggle. He then casts Hunter's Prowess on his stolen Emrakul, and swings Emrakul at Justin while Olivia goes at Ugin. Ugin unfortunately dies, while well, Justin takes 16, and Max draws that many cards. Once he's done drawing, he plays a Luxury Suite as his land for turn, and passes, discarding down to 7. Jameson plays Buried Ruin as his land for turn, and sacrifices it to return to hand as Metal Worker. He then recasts it, which seems pretty crazy considering Olivia's out. He then passes, and at the end of turn, Max uses Chaos Warp to try and shuffle away Feldegriff. Justin stops it with a swan song though, and Max gets a bird token. Justin draws and puts the sledge back onto Feldegriff. 
he gives Jameson two life as he activates his commander and gives itself flying. He swings at Max, who blocks with a bird token, but still takes 7 commander damage, while Justin gains 9. In his second main phase, Justin then plays a Derevi, and as the bird wizard comes in, untaps his commander. He then passes, drawing from being the monarch which he took back from Max. Max plays a polluted delta and sacrifices it, losing one to find a land. He shortcuts, also casting Demonic Tutor to go and save some time. Max then casts by force where X is 5, and blows up basically all the artifacts on board, leaving only Justin's Hedron Archive. We then move to combat, with Gaunti hitting Justin and Max passing turn. Jameson draws and plays a Forge of Heroes. He casts his Mere Battle Sphere, gaining his 4 tokens as it enters. Jameson then swings the Ugin token at Obnixilis, but it's blocked by Emrakul. He then passes as he puts the card to hand. Justin casts Nizan in his main phase, who enters and lets him go and tutor for an equipment card. He grabs Surprise Surprise, the hammer of Nizan, and puts it to field. He gets to equip it onto Feldurif and moves to combat. Before declaring attackers, Max tries to ping and steal it, but Justin pays one blue to bounce it back to his hand and gives Jameson the draw. Drevi then goes at Jameson for two, and with the Bird Wizard connecting, he gets to untap a permanent. It's at this point Max realizes he should be the monarch actually from the last attack, and Justin then passes, with Max making Drevi into a vampire and gives Olivia another counter. Max steals away Derevi from Justin with Olivia, and down takes up Nixilis to destroy the battle sphere. Moving to combat, the whole gang goes at Justin, who takes the hit. This gives Max three untaps, which he uses on Olivia, Emrakul, and the Soul Ring. He then draws at the end of turn from Monarch. Jameson plays a Thespian stage, and remembers to gain one from his inventor's fair trigger. He casts a Geode Golem, and then a Hedron Crawler before passing to Justin. Justin recasts the Hippo, and gears it up with the Hammer and Nizan. He then passes, and at the end of turn, Max pings and steals Nizan, and takes out the Hedron Crawler and a token from Jameson's side. Max draws and plays an Exotic Orchard. He pings the Hippo, but Justin bounces his commander back to hand, and lets Jameson draw a card after he activates Feldegriff. Nizan, Emrakul, and Olivia go at Justin to take him out, with Derevi going at Jameson. Max then gets to untap a lot of stuff, and he upticks Obnixilis, losing one to draw a card. He then passes to Jameson. Jameson gains one from his inventor's fair trigger and draws. He plays a rogue's passage for turn, and then sacrifices the fair to go and find an artifact. He's looking for an answer, but can't find anything and reveals instead a Sensei's Divining Top, casting it. He activates it to look at his top three, none of which are board wipes, and then goes at max with his creatures. Max blocks two, and then takes two, and despite putting up a good fight, Jameson knows that he's beat because Max is never gonna let him keep a creature around, and concedes the game to him. Game review time. So I think this table certainly could have used a bit more spot removal. Unfortunately, the few pieces that were used didn't deal with the main threat, which was Olivia. I think Max did a great job of showing how powerful she can be once you have a ton of mana, since basically any creature on board that doesn't have Hexproof or Shroud has the chance to be stolen from you. I think there's probably going to be some debate over whether or not Justin should have used the Swords to Plowshares on Emrakul as opposed to the Kozilek, but I do think it was the right choice. The fact that Kozilek needs you only to discard a card, as opposed to actually tap mana and discard a card to counter a spell, can be a real pain in the butt. You're never too sure what he's got in his hand, and that can unfortunately play some serious mind games with you. Dom did get taken out very quickly, but at the store, his Surak deck has a bit of a reputation for getting out of control quickly. As you saw, he had huge amounts of creatures early on thanks to Selvala Stampede, and with the Rhythm of the Wild, and later the Anger in his graveyard, he was swinging every turn they came in. Please be sure to tune in every Monday and Thursday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for a guaranteed new video. You can also follow me on Twitter at MTGMudsta. You can find me on Facebook at Facebook.com slash MTGMudsta. And lastly, you can check me out when I stream at Twitch.tv slash MTGMudsta.
This video is brought to you in support by my patrons. If you're looking for a way to help out the channel, please be sure to visit the link below. Thank you all for watching this video, and don't forget, friends are just opponents you haven't eliminated yet.